Hi everyone, it's Kaylee. I hope you're all doing so well. I haven't spoken to you in a couple weeks now, which is kind of crazy. Life has just been a little bit chaotic, but it's been really fun too. I have a lot of new home updates to share with you in this video. I'm currently upstate. Some bigger sort of DIY changes and then like some small fall homey things. We've been doing more popcorn ceiling removal. Everything's been very on a budget as we're saving for our kitchen renovation. I'm still kind of recouping from doing the exterior this summer and we just had to buy new kitchen appliances so you know a lot's going on but i have some things to show you we've just done a complete refresh on one of our guest bedrooms that was kind of out of use for a while the room honestly just felt like really dark and creepy to me but now i think it's feeling a lot better really all we did was paint and swap out a few small things it's made all the difference i've been wanting to get it done because i'm hosting friends at the end of this month you hear all of the leaves falling in the background it's so fall here you guys are going to be getting so many fall vibes from this video at least kind of because i am going to california this weekend wow so nice outside. I'm sitting on our screened in porch right now. What was I even saying? The guest bedroom is passable for now. Are you giving me your ball? Good boy. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love on my last video. I was really nervous to share that. Oh my gosh. I was really nervous to share that for such a long time, but you guys definitely made me feel very comforted and everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> he loves the screened in porch. Also, since I'm going to California tomorrow, I have to get the house prepped for his sitter. We always have someone come here to watch him instead of keeping him in the city, just because he is a little anxious, and most of his anxiety just goes away when he's up here. He loves it so much. I've been loving this Deji Studios button-up. This package was actually lost for a while. They gifted it to me as a set with some shorts, and I was so bummed, like... I'm not gonna be able to wear the set this year, but I'm going to California this weekend, like I said, and it's like 90 degrees or something. We're going for our friend's wedding. So I have to pack and prep for that as well. Here is a little before of our guest bedroom. It was just kind of acting as a storage room. We had a twin bed in here, but the gray paneling just had to go. So we figured the best option was just to paint instead of ripping it out immediately. It took so many rounds of primer to get this covered, but I think it's making all the difference in the space. It's really brightening it up because this room doesn't get that much natural light to begin with, so it really needs all the lightness it can get. Here it is midway with the primer, and then here it is with the fresh coat of paint. So we have been slowly but surely trying to transform the guest rooms in our house. As I always say, we do a lot of hosting around here. And it's always important to me that we have a comfy space for our friends and family to sleep. Which leads me to the sponsor of this video, Sweet Night. Sweet Night kindly provided us with our guest bedroom mattress. We went with their Prime mattress. And a full size for this room. This checkerboard print is the mattress cover that it comes with. But I want to tell you a bit more about their company and the mattress. And I also have a discount code for you guys if you're in the market for a new mattress. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything off the Sweet Night website, you can use my code Kaylee15%. It's gonna be in the description box below. Hi, Laszlo. Laszlo loves the new bed as well. So make sure you take advantage of that. I wanna know a few things that I really love about this mattress, especially having a dog. You just saw Laszlo jump up here. So this mattress has excellent motion isolation for undisturbed sleep. It's really great if you're sleeping in bed with somebody else else or a pet this guy moves around so much in his sleep there's also a gel infused comfort layer for cooler sleep and the mattress uses high density memory foam for enhanced support and another necessity for me this mattress is fiberglass free the best thing about sweet night's prime mattress is their contour and curve design this is patented by sweet night and it basically means that you can flip or rotate your mattress for your own comfort and sleeping preferences if you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper if you prefer a firmer mattress or a 
softer mattress. I think it's so great because the mattress can adjust to you as your body changes, whether you're going through pregnancy or an injury, you might need to switch up your sleeping situation. So as I said, if you want to make a purchase on the Sweet Night website, you can use the code Kaylee15%. I'm going to have all the info in the description box below as well. And thank you so much to Sweet Night for working with me on this video. Now we're going to get this room styled out a bit more. I've already started on it, as you could see with the paint, and I brought a few furniture pieces in here. But I want to make it cute, although on a budget, with just some items that we already have. I'm sure we'll update it as time goes on. We free up a little bit more money after completing our renovations. There are definitely still some things that I would like to do. We didn't end up removing the popcorn ceiling yet in here. I just was not ready to do that again after we just did our bedroom, which was such a big space and we're still kind of cleaning up the mess from it. I am gonna caulk around the ceiling and I think it's gonna clean things up quite a lot. We're gonna switch all of our thermostat systems to like a modern, I think it's called a Google Nest. I'm trying to gaslight myself into liking this carpet. I actually saw a rug from a vintage seller recently that looked almost exactly like this and I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. So I'm just pretending. Need many more end tables in this house. I also need bedding that actually fits this size bed. This is for a smaller size bed, so it's only covering the top right now. That's just a little stool from Ikea. And that's our office filing cabinet, just so there's a surface in here. I actually really like these white porcelain knobs that were already on a closet in the house, and I put them in here. It kind of goes with the cottagey vibe of this room. And those new baseboard heater covers blend in so well. Thank you so much, Vale, for sending those over. The previous ones were very rusty and covered in paint and stain from when the previous owners did this room. So this is a much needed upgrade. Love to do like a linen Roman shade or a wooden shade in here to bring some more warmth into the room. Right now, those are just old blinds. And I just have some towels and extra products for guests. These are some book favorites I've just put in here for now, and I'll probably put a candle as well. And then the last owner's actually left this bench for us. It used to have a cover on it, but I took it off, and I think it's just a nice surface for someone's suitcase or belongings in here. So you know, it's definitely a work in progress, but it's so much better than before. These are our new baseboard heater covers, which you just saw in the guest bedroom, that Vail kindly sent over. It started replacing the baseboard heater covers throughout the house still had like a third of the house to do and when they reached out i was so excited i may end up painting these black for this room just so they don't stick out too much and i think those covers are gonna make a huge improvement but in rooms that are all white the white covers definitely make the most sense another thing i really want to do is paint those door handles black or just swap them out the shape's not my favorite but exterior door hardware is so expensive you guys to replace those it would be like a thousand dollars per door so i think the shape is okay for that reason now i think it's time for a little home decor haul I got some plants at Home Depot. We've been desperately needing some bigger plants in here. I got this fig tree. I still need to get a pot for it and hopefully it'll do really well in this room because there's so many skylights and windows. Our indoor plants here seem to do really well. Even if we go out of town for a bit and they're not getting watered, they do so much better than they do in the city. Maybe they can tell that they're surrounded by forests. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that's what I would like to think. The first bits I have to share with you are from Target. I went the other day. I don't go there that often, but I've got to say sometimes they do have some really good candles. And for quite affordable too. This is a really heavyweight, simple sheet candle. It's like a matte stone ceramic. I'm not really sure. Pretty much everything I get is from the Hearth and Hand collection by Magnolia. They just have good Target stuff. Obviously, you have to pick and choose what you get, but I think that's what most of these pieces are from. And I think this one is salted honey scent, but the candles burn well. They smell strong. This looks chic and it's unbranded. Like I said, $9.99. This one is so good. I think last year they came out with similar ones this is my last one that i haven't even burnt through yet they did these amber glass fig six wick candles and they've lasted forever i think the ones they came out with this year are a bit better honestly they're a little more expensive but the scent's a lot stronger and i think they look more expensive as well they had a lot of this fluted glass they had a really big vase that i almost bought that I think was like $30. I just don't need another vase. I think with this sort of material, you do have to be careful because it can look cheap easily. So you can't overdo it in your home, but just like little pieces here and there. Like these look expensive, you guys. And this is a huge candle. I feel like it would normally be like $100 and it's also salted honey scented and it smells so good. So I'd say you should probably go to your local Target for these things, but if you're in the city, 
I know going to Target is kind of hard. They've opened a lot of new ones, but I feel like stock is probably blown out. I'm gonna try to find things to link in the description box for you guys. Last candle, this is my cringe purchase. That's not that cringe, honestly. It's again, like a matte ceramic pumpkin. And it's one of those like fire wick candles. They make that crackling sound when you light them. Also smells really good. I love it. I'm like a basic fall girl at heart, but I try to reel it in. That's the only pumpkin thing I'm gonna be getting. We're always looking for more board games in the house. A couple that we're close with started a tradition that everyone should bring us a board game when they come to stay with us. We've also just been trying to collect things ourselves, And also at Target, they had this travel backgammon set. This is really chic. It's like a vegan leather. I decorate my home with all these colors. Maybe zipper quality doesn't feel so nice, but like the dice are cute. This was like $30. Haven't used it yet, but it's nice to add to our games. And then lastly from Target, I got two little bowls and a mug. This mug's a lot more basic. I wouldn't say it looks expensive. It lies though, but I always love big mugs like this. This was like $3. These are also by Hearth and Hand by Magnolia, obviously. And there are these little ceramic bowls. I think they look very handmade. Again, like $3 each. These are perfect for like my little pickles or artichokes on my cheese plates or whatever. You want me to throw the ball? He's obsessed. Specifically with this ball, if you guys could only see his face behind the camera right now. We always had the bigger size of these chuckets, but we got the ones for small dogs. And he's not a small dog, but he loves these little balls. Oh my goodness. These remind me of like Kasami porcelain or something, which then they would be like 30 or $40 each. And from a different store, that's a very different vibe than Target. Everything in this shop is very well designed. She cool. The store is called Afternoon Light. It's an online home decor and design shop. I have a few things from them that I'm obsessed with. And I think I have a discount code for you guys as well. I'm going to put it on the screen if you want to get anything from there. And I'll link these bits below as well. But they have so many good pieces. Pretty night that a glass of wine isn't the vibe. This is a mono teapot. I got the bigger size. I haven't brewed any tea with it yet, but it's, it's not the chicest teapot you've ever seen. I got a little set of their matching mugs as well. It looks very scientific and modern, but still cozy and cool. And then I got some items for the kitchen. I'm dreaming of this when we finally have our newly renovated kitchen. Laszlo, I'm not throwing the ball right now. We'll throw it after mom's done. As I throw the ball. I'm dreaming of this just sitting on the countertop in our newly renovated kitchen. Just a really chic fruit bowl, which I actually don't have. I have like this really big ceramic fruit bowl in the city, but the gaps are so big in it that it really only works for like pumpkins or any huge fruit or veg. So this one is nice because it's a lot more practical, but still really chic. And right now in our house, we pretty much just have like hand-me-down kitchen towels that we've had for years and years, which is totally fine, but... I definitely wanted some prettier ones. They're very fall colors. This brand had several of them on the Afternoon Light site. It's called Departo. They feel so nice. They're these linen kitchen towels. They have a light stripe on them. This is the kind of stuff that Afternoon Light is so great for. Just like basic necessities in your home. But if you're like me and you want everything to look pretty, it's a great place to shop for those sorts of things. So I got a set of two of those kitchen towels. I think they're gonna go really well and warm up our kitchen space a lot when we get that done. You guys always see Laszlo sleeping. This is what Vichlas are like though. If you have been thinking about getting one because of me, if you've done your research, I'm sure you know that they are very high energy. It keeps me like so active and moving all the time, but he's not always a lap dog. He knows what he wants. He knows how to get it. If you don't give them adequate exercise, there'll be a little terror. You've got to be warned. We bought another one, so we obviously love it, but just so you know. <laughs> For dinner, I'm going to try to make this 15-minute pantry tomato soup. I actually don't have everything that you need for it. I don't have these fresh herbs, but I think I have everything else. I don't have heavy cream. I'm going to try to sub this creamy oat milk. We'll see how it goes. This is the best cookbook I have ever owned. We got this as a gift from my partner's stepdad and it's incredible. So many good basic items. I feel like it's just the best way to cook so many staples.
guys, here I am sitting on the floor again because my tripod is not here. But I have to tell a bit of a story here at the end of this vlog. I posted on Instagram while we were in LA for this wedding. It was a really quick trip. It was only three days um, that we had a bit of a dog sitter nightmare, which was honestly very traumatizing for me. Also excuse the appearance. I have not gotten ready today, so I threw on a hat my f1 hat not really a particular team fan i feel like i follow all the teams but i love alonso so i have an aston martin hat on i got this at the montreal grand prix i know most of you don't care about f1 but if you're looking to get into something something i never really thought that i would enjoy siggy's so into cars and he definitely got me into it but now i think i know more about things happening than him which is funny but anyways this dog sitter issue on our very short trip to LA. Where do I start? It's kind of a long story. Basically, we booked someone through Rover about a year ago when we went to London for over a week to watch Laszlo. And it was a great experience. She had plenty of good reviews. We got so many updates from her. I wasn't concerned at all. So honestly, we never leave him. I take him everywhere I possibly can, but he's not a service dog, so he can't fly with us unless we put him under, which I, I'm not willing to do or somehow he gets trained to be a service dog but i don't think he's really cut out for that or if we become really rich and can fly him charter but we'll like drive across the country to bring him with us i'm so attached to him i'm getting off track here but of course since she's watched him for over a week in our house before i felt good about it um and i had her number so i texted her to watch him this time and she's like yeah totally so friday night she comes over to watch him she ends up coming like later that night because my flight got so delayed so he and i were traveling separately because he was working in philly that day so he ended up changing his flight to be out of philly and i flew out of new york my flight ended up getting delayed like six hours i didn't get into la until like 5 a.m and she had stayed the night with laszlo that night i got to la we went to sleep we had the wedding that day but when i woke up i like just started having kind of a weird feeling I always regret when I don't like trust my intuition, but I was like, I'm just being like a helicopter dog mom. Like he's fine. It's okay that I haven't heard from her. Like it's been less than 24 hours. And I had texted her once just to like make sure everything was okay the night before. Cause she was like, let me know when you get into LA just cause our travel day was so crazy. So like I had done that and I was just like, hope everything's like good at home, whatever. And just like before she had sent a lot of like photos on their morning walk whatever and with the time difference i knew it was like 3 p.m there and i was talking to siggy and he was like why don't we just like check the outdoor camera maybe you'll like see them playing outside so we click on it and there's a bunch of cars in our driveway and just at the time that we clicked on it i see the sitter stumbling outside she ends up like getting in her car and she's slumped over her car horn at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. There's other people there trying to wake her up. There's even a child there trying to wake her up. It was so heartbreaking to hear the entire situation. I think it was her boyfriend's child. So he's like, we should just call her and see what's going on. Because we're getting a little concerned. It seems like they're in and out the doors at our house. Leslie's like good off leash, but I didn't like that the doors were open and who knows where he is and no one seems coherent that's an adult there. And it's 3 p.m., which is even more concerning. We're across the country and you can't really do anything. So we call, we can like hear her phone going off on the camera because the window and doors are open and like no one's answering the phone. And we call it a few times and the child answers the phone and he's like talking to us. It's so sad. He's so sweet, he's talking to us. He's probably like five or six years old. And at this point, she's like in bed. We hear him try to wake her up. We're like asking him if we can talk to an adult around. And eventually he like hands it off to this guy who was definitely not well, but he seemed the most put together of all the adults there. And he like sent us a picture of Lazlo. Lazlo looks terrified. At that point, we're pretty freaked out. We also have to be at this wedding in like two hours. And I was like, do I need to fly home right now? I don't know what's going on. We had been talking with some of our neighbors. We don't have any neighbors super close by, but our road is shared with a few neighbors and we were chatting with them and most of them were out of town that weekend. I definitely have a neighbor who I would have sent over there and he would have 
absolutely taken Laszlo and dealt with it. So we started calling friends that live upstate, which no one actually lives that close to us. Um, and just like trying to figure out if we have someone that can go over there and just get our dog. Like at this point, we didn't really care about what was going on at the house. And we were concerned about his well-being. So our friend Cody, who actually lives like an hour and a half away from us upstate, just cause everything, it's rural up there. Things are like pretty far away. He left within like five minutes of us calling him and explaining the situation. And he took Laszlo into his home with his other dogs for the rest of the weekend, which we can't thank him enough for that. But in the meantime, we checked our cameras again. And we saw that all the cars were gone and we saw the sitter like so drunkenly backing out of our driveway. And she lives on a farm. And I know before she would like take Laszlo over to the farm to take care of the animals. And I was so concerned that Laszlo was with her in the car which thankfully he wasn't, but we called her at this point and she actually answered. She hung up on us within a second. When she answered, she was definitely not okay. She was slurring her words so bad and we were probably only on the phone with her for like 15 seconds and she hung up on us and then we tried calling her back. I'm pretty sure she blocked our number or she was just denying, turned off her phone, whatever. And at this point I'm like, oh my God, my dog's gone. She's definitely gonna like crash into something and he's gonna die. You know, my head is going to the worst places. So so you called our local like volunteer fire station. We don't even have a normal fire station. They sent somebody up to the house for like a wellness check. And they said they would just like see if our dog was there. They couldn't go inside cause they don't have a warrant. And it's just like, Kind of sketchy the guy was on the phone with us he was like knocking on all the windows and he was like i don't think a dog's here like we can sort the situation out but we have to wait until your friend gets here which also does bark upstate if there's any like stranger especially men seeming like kind of weird outside he'll absolutely bark and he wasn't barking at this point our head's obviously going to the worst places we're on the way to the wedding our friend cody gets there he gets inside things aren't great but they're okay and the most important thing is that he found Lazo hiding in our bedroom. And again, it just like breaks my heart so much. I feel like I I failed him. It's like, yeah, it seems like he hasn't like eaten or had water all day. So relieved that he was still there. I don't know how we really could have like prevented that situation. I guess only friends can watch my animals or he just always comes with me um because that was terrifying so we ended up texting her and we weren't mean at all i don't know these people i don't know what's going on i don't trust the people that were in the house they were clearly all severely intoxicated and it looked like more than alcohol so we just texted her and we were like oh our plans changed like we're actually coming home tonight and she never showed back up at the house she never responded to us i don't know if she's just embarrassed i also had the memory that i think she's told me that she's sober before so i don't know if this is just like first time relapse situation or I don't know I don't know what's going on but that's clearly what changed so we got back from LA a couple days ago and we obviously picked up Laz he's asleep on the couch over there we got to check out the house everything's like pretty okay for the most part obviously things can be replaced I will say we had a pretty good bar going and the alcohol is all gone but whatever who cares it just is like a violating feeling having someone stay in your home and that happen I was definitely more concerned that something else would be wrong though. I'll tell you guys another little story really quick. I grew up in West Virginia. Drugs are a huge problem in West Virginia. When I was like nine or 10, our next door neighbors ended up getting busted for a meth lab. My family was definitely like questionable about them beforehand and we had been robbed. And the things that they robbed from us were so strange. They literally took my bed in my childhood bedroom. I was just expecting something like that to happen when we walked in our house just because the behavior was kind of mirroring things i've seen at home luckily everything's pretty okay one thing though that she left is her wallet in our house and we haven't heard from her we also hadn't paid her yet which like if who really cares about the money but we have her wallet with like her id i'm probably not gonna reach out to her i don't know if she's realized that it's gone so he's like maybe she's on some bender we don't really know obviously i'd give it back to her I hope she's okay. The whole situation is pretty sad. I also don't know if we should like report her to Rover. We didn't book through Rover this time, but I obviously don't want this happening to anybody else, but I also don't want to like ruin her income. Like people make mistakes, but this was not okay. So just be really careful if you're booking app sitters. Like I said, I really don't know how I would have prevented this from happening, but Laszlo's safe, Laszlo's okay. I think maybe we're also adopting a puppy this month, like almost 
100% certain I won't say it till we have her in our hands so I thought it was like a light that came out of the situation and then I'm really never leaving them unless it's with a close friend or family member because oh my gosh that was traumatizing but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I have a fun week coming up I think I'm just gonna start a new vlog tomorrow right after this because this one's probably pretty long now and I will see you super soon bye